what's up guys in this video I'm gonna be showing you how to jailbreak your iPod touch 2g on the 3.1.1 firmware yes it's come out it has come out for Mac um, that was the way it was supposed to be but I managed to get the firmware that you can jailbreak it with so this is the official jailbreak so as you can see I do have software version 3.1.1 and so there's no doubt, you can look at my screen, I have Cydia and IC. And just to make sure that you guys know, this is an iPod Touch second generation. So as you can see, scroll down here, 3.1.1, no tricks. And it has Bluetooth, so it definitely makes it an iPod Touch 2G. So, the jailbreak is really, really simple. You have to be on 3.0 jailbroken this won't work if you haven't jailbroken before so you have to be on 3.0 jailbroken if you're not then you have to do that I have a video on that and a link in the description then you're gonna have to download um, the firmware so I'll leave, have a link in the description of this but it should be called iPod 2 1 underscore 3.11 underscore 7C145 underscore custom restore IPSW and it'll be a mega upload link in the description as I said. So just to make sure that you know what you're doing, the dev team blog has said what you have to do. So use Ponish Tool to create a firmware image and restore with that IPSW using iTunes. So you don't have to use Ponish Tool to create a firmware because I already have done that for you. So I already have the firmware. So all you're doing is restoring it with iTunes. But make sure that this will only work if you have pwned at 3.0. So you already have to have um, jailbroken at 3.0 for this to work. If you haven't, as I said, link in the description. But if you're at 3.1 already, you'll have to downgrade to 3.0 and use Red Snow to pwn, which I'll have a link in the description. But I don't know how to downgrade, so you can just use Google to figure that out. So let's get into it. It's really, really simple. You don't have to even go to in DFU mode for this. I was trying and trying, and I was going in the DFU mode and it wasn't working. But I'm like, I was just playing around with it. And um, all you have to do is click Shift Click Restore while well, it's in iTunes. And you have to make sure that you're on the 3.0 firmware and it has to be jailbroken. You know it's jailbroken if you have Cydia. Then you're going to want to Shift Click Restore. So hold down Shift and then click Restore. See? Now you're going to have to have your 3.1.1 custom restore downloaded. And if it isn't, then this won't work. Then you're going to have to click on it. Your iPod will restore. You should see, um, you know, it'll um, run the restore normally. Then when it restarts, you should see a pineapple. You're jailbroken. You should have City and Icy, just like me. And then, yeah, you're jailbroken, guys. So it's pretty simple. Um... I mean, there's no strings attached. You might get a couple problems, but just play around with it, you know. I don't think you have to go into DFU mode, even though I was watching a couple videos where, like, go into DFU mode, and I was like, okay, but it didn't work. Don't go into DFU mode. It worked for me. I just click shift, click restore to that, and it worked. But make sure, please make sure. I know there's a couple of people new, jailbreaking them, and you're watching this video. Make sure that it is jailbroken already on the 3.0 firmware if you haven't link in the description and this is not for the iPod touch 3G and you know if it's a 3G um, iPod touch if you bought it before September ish and yeah it's, it's brand new so that does not cover that there should be a jailbreak coming out soon but that's it guys please rate comment subscribe I think this is the first video on this there might be a couple, but this is the first video for like Windows. So please rate, comment, subscribe. I hope this helps you out. Um, so yeah, guys, have fun with your jailbreak, break, and I'll see you in the next video.